Hi children, welcome back to another collective worship with me, Rob. Let's start with a game. And the game this week is called, Where is the Giant? Question one. The tallest building in the world is called the Khalifa Tower. Hmm. Where is this giant? Is it in Chicago? Is it in Dubai? Or is it in London? The answer is, it's in Dubai. And it stands over 2,716 feet or 828 meters tall. Okay, question two. The world's largest beaver that's an animal, weighs over 200 stone. And if I'm 12 stone, that is massive. That's a big beaver. Where is this giant? Is it in Canada? Is it in Australia? Or is it in England? What do you think? The answer is, it's found in Canada. It was a bit of a trick question because this statue stands over 15 foot, five meters tall and is 20 foot long. Question three. The world's tallest roller coaster is called the King Da Ka. The King Da Ka. Where is this giant? Is it in Spain? Is it in America? Or is it in Australia? What do you think? Where is the tallest roller coaster? The answer is America. And it stands over 456 feet or 138 meters tall and it travels over 100 miles per hour. Wow, that is fast. Question four. This giant is the world's largest shark ever caught. Where is this giant? Is it in the Gulf of Mexico? Is it in the Atlantic Ocean? Is it in the Mediterranean Sea? What do you think? The answer is the Mediterranean Sea, and it was 21 foot long, or six meters long, and it was a whale shark. Our last question. The tallest man ever lived was born in 1940. Where was he born? Was he born in Japan? Was he born in China? Was he born in America? Where is this giant? The answer is America. And his tallest height was eight feet, four inches tall. He was 2.7 meters. And when he was eight years old, he was six foot, which is just a bit taller than me. Well, that was a fun game, wasn't it? Learning about lots of tall, big things. You know, in life, there are sometimes a lot of things that we think are too big or too hard for us to do. But you know what? We need to give them a go and try. You know, if we fail or if it gets hard, I know God will help us and lift us up. Our song this week is called, I Get Down, He Lifts Me Up. You know, speaking about when life gets us down, God picks us up. Well, let's get off our seats and have a go. Down. In your weakness, I get 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 down. 
Now it's time for a Bible story. And today's Bible story is found in the book of Acts. In Iconium, that's the place, Paul and Barnabas went to the Jewish synagogue to tell people about Jesus. Some Jews were grateful and believed in Jesus. Many Gentiles believed. And because of this, some Jews were jealous. Paul always spoke boldly about Jesus. He was not afraid of what men thought. Now, this stood up unbelieving Jews even more, so much they wanted to kill Paul. When Paul and Barnabas heard of this, they left for other cities. When they came to a place called Lystra, they saw a lame man that had never been able to walk. The lame man carefully listened to Paul, telling him about Jesus. The Holy Spirit showed Paul that the man had faith to be made well. With excitement, Paul said in a loud voice, stand upright on your feet. The lame man in faith excitedly leaped up and he began to walk. Now, everyone who saw this miracle was also excited. After the people calmed down, Paul told them that the living God took care of them and that it was foolishness to worship idols and that God loved them so much that he sent his one and only son to die for their sins. So just as Paul and Barnabas were speaking, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium started to mislead the crowds by telling them lies. Now the mob was very angry and they took Paul and they threw stones at him outside the city. Later, the mob left Paul for dead. Some of the people that believed in Jesus went to see Paul. When they stood around him, God helped Paul so he could get up and boldly, he went back into the city. The next day, Paul and Barnabas went on to another place called Derby, where they began boldly telling people about Jesus. Many in, in Derby believed and began to follow Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Paul and Barnabas traveled back to Lystra. Wherever they went, they encouraged new believers. They told believers not to be surprised that they too may experience mistreatment because they love Jesus. You know, today we're thinking about one of our core values. Do you know what that is? Yes, it's resilience. Hmm, that's a tricky word. What does resilience mean? It means to keep going. Paul, in our Bible story, he got back up again, didn't he? And he kept going. Can you say, keep going with me? Ready? After three, I want to say, keep going. Ready? One, two, three. Keep going. You know, how can you be resilient this week? How can you keep going? Well, if you don't do something right the first time, don't worry. Nobody can do something right every time. Just keep trying. Or why don't you, when you make a mistake, just keep calm. Just admit it and then try again. Remember that everyone is different. 
and everyone is good at something. Find out what you are good at. Well, let's watch a funny video about resilience. There'll be days when things seem bad Life may seem unfair Keep your cool, do not get mad Breathe and don't despair Just say I'll bounce back Catastrophe bounce back There's a great verse in the Bible about running a race and it says, keep running hard towards the finish line to get the prize. Keep running hard, keep going, keep trying, keep going. Be resilient. Well, let's finish our collective worship today with a prayer. Dear God, thank you that you are real. Thank you that you care about us. When times are hard or we can't do something, help us to not give up and to keep going. Amen. Well, have a great week and I'll see you again next time. Bye.